coverage you can count on. KOMU 8 News starts with breaking news. Breaking news tonight after 27 years. Today, Ernest Johnson faces execution at any minute now for killing three people while robbing a convenience store in Columbia. And in a final effort, Johnson's team has filed to push the case to the United States Supreme Court. Just an hour ago, Justice Brett Kavanaugh denied that appeal. Good evening, everyone. I'm Noah Klein. Thanks so much for joining us. We have team coverage for you tonight in Bon Terre, where Johnson is scheduled to be executed. We also have coverage of protests across the state, both for and against the execution. But right now, we'll start with a live look at a news conference set to start after the injection. The U.S. Supreme Court again denied a stay of execution for Ernest Johnson. His death by lethal injection was supposed to happen right now at 6 p.m. We are inside the state prison at Bon Terre where we're expecting this news conference any minute. We'll be sure to bring you the latest. Now, some have been arguing this execution violates the Eighth Amendment, which prohibits the execution of intellectually disabled people. The U.S. Supreme Court issued that decision back in 2002. Despite a petition and pleas from the Pope yesterday, Governor Mike Parson said he would not grant Johnson clemency. You can find that press conference on our website over at KOMU.com as it happens. Here's what's happening right now in Bon Terre. We're following reports of protesters gathering to argue both sides of Johnson's execution. We'll send it now to KOMU 8's Sean McKinnon. And Sean, you spoke to one of the protest leaders today. I was on prison grounds earlier this afternoon in an area reserved for protesters, but the Department of Corrections told me to leave and that we couldn't film the group. I did see a bus arrive earlier heading into that area. I talked to the, we talked to the racial justice coordinator for Missourians for our, our alternatives to the death penalty. She says they were expecting groups here from Kansas City, St. Louis, and Jefferson City. She says they're protesting the execution of Ernest Johnson on moral, constitutional, and religious grounds, and that Johnson's intellectual disability should keep him from being executed. We're not necessarily saying, saying Ernest didn't do anything or to let him go, but what we're saying is uh, we want his, um, his, his, his constitutional rights you know, um, uh, honored, and we also want his intellectual disabilities to be looked at in a fair manner. Johnson and his attorneys previously requested he be executed by firing squad. This was done out of fear he might have a seizure in reaction to the drug Missouri uses in lethal injections. The state denied that request because Missouri law doesn't allow firing squads. We'll have an update of our coverage tonight on KOMU 8 News at 9 and 10 and of course over on KOMU.com. Also happening right now a little closer to home here in mid-Missouri, the Columbia Chapter for Missourians for Alternatives to the Death Penalty is protesting right now. This is a live look outside of the Boone County Courthouse. The Columbia chapter is one of many protesting across the state, including in the capital city, St. Louis and Kansas City. This is a story we've been following for well over 10 years. Let's take a look back at what we know about this case. Again, Johnson is accused of killing three employees during a robbery at a Casey's in Columbia in February of 1994. He was found guilty to three counts of first degree murder a year after the crime and sentenced to death. In 1998, the Missouri Supreme Court overturned that death sentence, saying his attorneys left out information about his drug use and his childhood. Between 1998 and 2019, Johnson's execution was debated in court, including the U.S. Supreme Court, several times. Later in 2019, Johnson petitioned the U.S. Supreme Court, requesting death by firing squad or by nitrogen gas. That petition was denied in May of this year. After that denial, the Missouri Supreme Court scheduled the execution for today. Again, this is the end of an over two decade long case. Full of, for a full interactive timeline on this case, you can visit our website over at KOMU.com.